conservation is the act of protecting Earth's natural resource for current and future generation. Conservation is similar to preservation, but while both related to protecting nature, they strive to accomplish this task in different ways. Conservation seeks human sustainable use of wildlife for activities such as hunting, logging, or mining, while preservation means protecting nature from human use. As we read and watch, many new stories rise fighting for the sustainability of endangered species. So we take drastic measures to preserve what's left in the wild. And today, we brought you one of the endangered species known as the proboscis monkey, a long nose monkey with an usually large nose and reddish brown skin color and a long tail. Proboscis monkey is a large species, being one of the largest monkey species native to Asia. Only the Tibetan macaw and a few of the Great Lanka can rival its size. Such dimorphism is pronounced in this species. Males have a head body length of 66 to 76.2 centimeter and typically weigh 60 to 22.5 kilograms, with a maximum known weight of 30 kilograms. Female measure is 53.3 to 62 centimeter in head and body length and a weight 7 to 12 kilograms, with a maximum known mass of 50 kilograms. Further adding to the dimorphism is the large nose or proboscis of the male, which can exceed 10.2 cm in the length and hang lower than the mouth. Theories for the extensive length of their nose suggest it may be sexual selection by the females, who prefer louder vocalization with the size of the nose increasing the volume of the call. Nevertheless, the nose of the female is still fairly large for a primate. The proboscis monkey has a low coat. The fur on the back is bright orange, reddish brown, yellowish brown, or brick red. The underfur is light gray, yellowish, or grayish to the light orange. Infants are born with a blue colored face that at 2.5 months darken to gray. By 8.5 months of age, the face has become green colored like the adult. The male has a red penis with a black scrotum. Both sexes have bulging stomach that give the monkey what resembles a pot belly. Many of the monkey toes are wet. So, for the reproduction, Females become sexually mated at the age of 5 years. They experience sexual swelling which involve the genitals becoming pink or redden. At one side, matings largely take place between February and November while births occur between March and May. Copulation tend to last for half a minute. The male will grab the female by the ankles or torso and mount her from behind. Both sexes will encourage mating but they are not always successful. When soliciting, both sexes will make pouted faces. In addition, males will sometimes vocalize and females will present their backsides and shake their head from side to side. Mating pairs are sometimes harassed by sub-adults. Proboscis monkeys may also engage in mounting with no reproductive purpose, such as playful and same-sex mounting. And females will attempt to initiate copulation even after they have concave. Gestation usually lasts 166 to 200 days or slightly more. Females tend to give birth at night or in the early morning. The mothers then eat the placenta and lick the infants clean. 
the young begin to eat solid foods at six weeks and are weaned at seven months old. The nose of a young male grows slowly until reaching adulthood. The mother will allow other members of her group to hold her infant. When a resident male in a male of one group is replaced, the infants are at risk of infanticide. So next, we will learn about the range and habitat of this proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkey. The proboscis monkey, as we know just now, is an endemic to the island of Borneo and can be found in all three nations that divide of the island, which is as we know, the Brunei, the Indonesia, and Malaysia. It is more common in coastal area and along river because the species is restricted, restricted to the lowland habitats that may experience tides. So it favors the tea rock cup, mangrove, and riverine forests. It also can be found in swamp forests, stunted swamp forests, mm, rubber forests, rubber plantation, limestone hill, rubber forests, nimpa swamp, nivong swamp, um, tall swamp forests, and tropical health, and usually at the steep cliff. This, specially, this species usually stays within at least a kilometer from our water source. So it helps them to have a quick and reliable fresh water. It is perhaps the most aquatic of the parent primates and is a pretty good swimmer, which they are capable of swimming up to 20, under me 20 meters underwater. And they are known about their ability to swim across river. So aside from that, yeah, the proboscis monkey is mainly arboreal and move quadruply by leaps and it is known by jumps of branches and descent into water. That is all from the range and habitat. We move along with the next point. The proboscis monkey is assessed as endangered in the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species and listed in Appendix I of CITES. Its total population has decreased by more than 50% in the past 36 to 40 years to 2008 due to ongoing habitat loss because of logging and oil palm plantation and hunting in some areas due to the species being treated as a delicacy as well as its use in traditional Chinese medicine. The population is fragmented the largest remaining population are found in Kalimantan. There are far fewer in Sarawak, Brunei, and Sabah. The proboscis monkey is protected by law in all regions of Borneo. In Malaysia, it is protected by a number of laws including the Wildlife Protection Act Federal Law, the Wildlife Protection Ordinance 1998 Chapter 26 and Wildlife Conservation Enactment 1997 Sabah State Law. The proboscis monkey can be found in 16 protected areas Danau Sentarum National Park, Gunung Palung National Park, Kendawangan Nature Reserve, Kutai National Park, Lesan Protection Forest, Muara Kaman Nature Reserve, Mandor Reserve, and Tanjung Puting National Park in Indonesia. Bako National Park, Gunung Pue Forest Reserve, Kabili Sepilok Forest Reserve, Klias National Park, Kulamba Wildlife Reserve, Lawa Kinabatangan Wildlife Sanctuary, Sungai Samun Sam Wildlife Sanctuary, and Ulu Segama Reserve in Malaysia. Proboscis monkey are endemic to the island of Borneo. They are classified as endangered and are also totally protected species in Sabah. Despite this level of protection, the woodland swamp forest habitats that are important for this species are still decreasing, mainly through forest conversations to oil palm plantation. How to conserve proboscis monkey? First, reduce environmental damage. Second, monitor proboscis monkey population. Third, protect their habitats. Number four, control illegal logging or deforestation. And number five, stop illegal hunting.